Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Lightning homepages. On this screen, I have a number of steps that you may want to go through with your users to improve their experience when they are using Salesforce. And this is not a set number of steps. This could vary depending upon your R complexity, your users, and a lot of things that are involved. Uh, but this is just at a high level and a guideline. So obviously, first you want to understand what is possible with Lightning homepages. It's one of those features that I see underutilized. But Salesforce does come with a lot of out-of-the-box capabilities that we want to take advantage of. We are paying for the license, so you obviously want to take advantage of it. And you want to understand your users to give them the maximum benefits and just to improve their user experience in their day-to-day -day lives. Today, we're going to understand this, uh, the first step. And I'm going to talk you through uh, what I have seen work with my users. But at the same time, know that this will really depend on what is the need with your users, which is why it's important to build some mockups as you are learning this, just so you can show your users. Because once you start to show them what's possible, that's when you're going to get a lot of ideas because they may not even know what's possible. And it's hard for the users to say that I need this without having, without even knowing uh, what they need and what's possible. So with that said, let's get right into our homepage and start to build that mockup. You can edit in two different ways. You can either go to the home page that you want to edit and come here on the gear icon and hit edit page. That will allow you to edit the existing home page. So if you click here, you will be landed to that home page, which you can then start to edit from here. But if you don't know, you're just building a mockup, I would recommend going to the setup. So this is another option. You can go to setup and type lightning app builder, and then that should bring you to this lightning app builder page. This is also where you can see all the different pages in your org. So if your org has different types of record pages, app pages, home pages, you can see all of those here. Right now I have two home pages. So that's another common misconception that you can only have one home page per org. That is not true. You can have different types of home pages based on your profile and persona, which is why going back to that, um, doing your user research and your interviews, you will know how many profiles and what are the different types of users your org has. For example, there may be sales and service. So sales users, may care more about opportunities and seeing opportunity related information on their homepage while service users may care more about what's the volume of incoming call, what are the different cases they're getting and so on. So you definitely have that flexibility to show the homepages based on profile, even based on app, certain apps, they may want to see something else versus other apps. So keep that in mind as you're designing this. So it's not one solution fits all. You definitely can make multiple homepages for different users. Obviously don't go overboard with that. Um, but yes, knowing that that's possible will definitely open up more opportunities for you. Okay. So click on new here and we're going to have four pages. Um, I'll cover the rest of the pages in other video, but today let's focus on the home page and click next. Um, I'm going to call it home sales. You don't have to call it that. Um, you can just leave it as home, but it's good to give it a valid name so that you don't get confused. Um, and then you can choose paste template. It is exactly what it sounds like. It gives you a template where you can add components. So let's say you did to have a, a big dashboard on top and then all the other things like related list, um, anything else that users might need at the bottom half, then you can use the header and three reasons. I only recommend this if you have like a big dashboard, let's say you are embedding a Tableau dashboard or a CRM analytics dashboard on your homepage, then you may want to choose this option. The second option I don't usually recommend because this is one giant screen and whatever you put here will be like spreading out. So even if it's a small component, you'll have like a giant um, area to cover. So it's going to be a lot of scrolling. I don't usually recommend this layout. Then standard homepage is also a good one. So when you have a smaller dashboard, let's say, and maybe you still want to have like a top task list and other things uh, on the right side, and then you can show more not so useful, but important information at the bottom. So let's go with the standard homepage for this demo. Hit finish. And then we are here on our template. So as you can see, it says it adds components here. So let's take a look at what are the standard components available to us. And you can also add custom components, of course. Um, so accordion, app launcher, I usually see using assistant a lot in homepages that basically gives you important information about the leads and opportunities of the user. Um, chatter, not so much because usually chatter is used in different record pages, but you can of course have it if your users want it. Um, 
dashboard is a really common one that we see a lot being used on homepage because that's like a one-stop shop sales user can log in the first thing in the day they can see um, what are the, their top opportunities for the day or what are the opportunities they should focus on so I'm going to drag and drop a dashboard here I already have one dashboard um, that's the only one showing up just keep in mind uh, the dashboard needs to be in public folder or shared folder it cannot be in private folder if it's in private folder you're not going to find that dashboard here so just keep that in mind you can also color um, as you like in the dashboard itself that may be its own video and you can also give it a maximum height if the dashboard is going to be really big you can maybe make it a height so you can have like a scrollable feature let's say if this dashboard was really giant i would probably keep it like a 200 or something like a height in that case what's going to happen is you're going to have this scrolling feature here we don't need that for this case so i'm just going to keep it maximum height or whatever height it has height on error that's good so that's our first thing that the users are going to see. Then you can give them some options. Maybe I want to show them items to approve over here. What are their approvals that need their attention? Let's look at other options as well. So we have list views. You can also show list views in the home page. Um, this is usually good when you have certain objects that you want their attention and you can have list views filtered out. Um, so that's also really good. Recent items and recent records are definitely good ones to use. The slight difference between recent items. So recent items lets you choose the type of records you want to select. So let's say if you wanted to only show them account and uh, maybe opportunity recent list, then you can do that. I'm just going to click opportunity here. And let's say I want to show five records. And that's the recent items recent records shows you all the different types of records or anything that you may have access not just records so like stages opportunities contact whatever in this case it's recent items is the account and opportunity only you may only need to use one depending um, if you want to just have a recent record list then go with this one otherwise go with recent items if you are very particular about what recent items you want to show for this i'm just gonna keep the recent records Okay, so another common one that I see used is report chart. Um, so you can definitely pop in a report chart here. I don't think I currently have one in my org, but if you did, you can definitely add a report chart to show like a quick view of some. A rich text is also a really good one because you can really add pictures um, or text in bold or any sort of style. So if there are any announcements for your users that Spring 23 is coming up, get ready for the release things that your admin can control um, so you can make it bold or um, give it a nice color so you can definitely add a lot of nice stuff using rich text and just notify your users you can add uh, today's tasks and events is really good one to add on the right side um, so that users can see if they have any upcoming meetings or tasks they need to take care of, um, trending topics, what are the things that users are searching for. Dashboard is definitely the main one that I see a lot of use cases for. Um, you can make it so that it's different dashboards show up for different users. You can have multiple dashboards. I've also seen the whole homepage just filled with different types of dashboards. So you may have opportunity dashboard, you may have like an account hierarchy dashboard. All of the dashboards can be put in the homepage and it can be dynamically shown for the users that um, is currently seeing the home page all right and let's not also forget the custom page so if you may have different custom components you can also embed a flow here so if there are things that you want users to take action from the home page you can also put a flow and uh, let them create certain records or go through a process through the home page directly without having to go to different records all right so that's my home page i'm going to save now and activate let's click on activate and see what are the options there and this is where you can define whether you want to have it as org default this is the most common one so you can create one home page everybody sees the same home page or you can do app default so regardless of who is seeing the app same home page shows up for that app so let's say if i wanted all sales app whoever is viewing the sales app sees that particular home page you can do that so that's one option
if I go back to activation, you can also choose app and profile. What that means is it will let you select apps for a specific profile. So let's say I want this home page to appear for sales app, but only for sales profile. For everybody else, I want to see some other app or maybe the admin will see something else on the home page. So it really depends um, on your use case. For this one, we are just going to say default it to app. So if you're in that app, you'll see that home page. So I'm going to save this now and let's go and take a look at our changes. So I'm on the home page. I now see my fancy new home page. But if I change my app to, let's say, service, I should now see a different home page, the old one that I had. That is how you can customize who is seeing what home page as well. And then coming back here, so once you show your users what's possible, you're definitely going get, to get a lot of feedback, a lot of ideas, mostly around, I want to see this dashboard on the home page or some, things like that. So show a POC, do some user interviews as well to understand what are their top key needs. Um, definitely get feedback and ideas, align on the final design, um, get some users in the UAT environment just to play around with this and give more feedback. Um, change management is really important here because this is changing what users are currently used to seeing. So you definitely want to guide them and train them um, so that they are ready for what's coming up. Um, and you can also add actually from the homepage, you can also add training documents. So you can share a link there and say, go to training. And you can literally drop in a link for training as well on your homepage. And then obviously going live. That is all for homepage. Next video will cover record page. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions.